Hey guys, my name is Sona, and today, let's talk about fuel cells. Let's start by answering this simple question. What are fuel cells? In short, fuel cells use chemical reactions to convert chemical energy into electricity. The chemical energy that's converted to electricity comes from the fuel put into the device, which is why they're called fuel cells. Now that we know what they are, Let's talk about how exactly fuel cells work. First, the fuel enters the cell. In this case, our fuel is hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas travels to the first electrode, which are typically metals that conduct electricity. At this electrode, a chemical reaction occurs. The hydrogen gas molecules are split into protons, which are positively charged, and electrons, which are negatively charged. The electrode where this occurs is called the anode because the reaction that takes place produces electrons for an electric current. After this chemical reaction, the electrons travel out of the fuel cell to create the electric current, while protons travel across the fuel cell to the second electrode. The substance that transports the protons from one electrode to the other is called the electrolyte. Once the protons travel to the second electrode, another chemical reaction occurs. At this electrode, oxygen gas in the air that enter the fuel cell on the other side reacts with the protons and electrons to produce water. This electrode is then called the cathode because here electrons are consumed in the chemical reaction. The water produced from the chemical reaction then leaves the fuel cell. And all of that sums up how fuel cells work. Hydrogen gas enters the fuel cell, reacts to produce electrons for electricity, and reacts again with oxygen to produce water as an output. Technically, I just described how one type of fuel cell works. Depending on the type of fuel cell, your fuel, reactions occurring, and other specifics will change. Different types of fuel cells are defined by its electrolyte. The electrolyte for the fuel cell I just described is a proton exchange membrane. So this type of fuel cell is known as a proton exchange membrane fuel cell, or a PEMFC. Some other types of fuel cells are alkaline, phosphoric acid, molten carbonate, and solid oxide. Remember that the electrolyte in the fuel cell corresponds to its name. Regardless of what the electrolyte is, they all serve the same purpose to transport charged particles from one electrode to the other. In a PEMFC specifically, the electrolyte is a proton exchange membrane. The most important part of the proton exchange membrane is that it transports only protons, not electrons, from one electrode to the other, hence the name. This ensures that the electrons travel out of the cell to form an electric current thus creating electricity. This is an essential characteristic for any electrolyte in any fuel cell. It cannot allow electrons to travel across the fuel cell. Otherwise, electricity won't be produced. The selectivity needed in an electrolyte for a fuel cell makes the choice of material for the electrolyte incredibly important. And this is what many material scientists around the world are working on today. Fuel cells are seen by many as an essential part of our clean energy and environmentally friendly future. They are a way of producing electricity without creating carbon dioxide emissions that contribute to climate change. Proton exchange membrane fuel cells are particularly exciting. Since they're lightweight and portable, they're being used in vehicles. PEMFCs are being used to produce electricity and power cars without any harmful emissions that oil creates. In the future, Many material scientists hope that everyone, including you, will have all electric cars powered by fuel cells.